almond milk recipe. Got almonds? Then make almond milk. After all, almond nutrition is nothing to sneeze at. Low in saturated fatty acids, rich in unsaturated fatty acids and contain filling fiber, almonds also contain unique and protective phytosterol antioxidants as well as plant protein. I love almond milk. It's that simple. Fortunately, here's an almond milk recipe that's simple, too. Basically, if you've got almonds, then you can make your own almond milk. It's amazingly delicious, too, and goes great paired with healthy cookies, brownies, or just about anything that you might use or serve milk with. Another plus is that, with this recipe, you know exactly what goes into it, so you know it's healthy. There's no carrageenan, a common almond milk additive getting some negative press lately, as it could be a culprit for gut damage, and you also get to control the amount and kind of sweetener in it. Plus it's dairy-free, lactose-free, gluten-free and low in sugar, depending on your choice and amount of sweetener. To get started with my nearly effortless but satisfying almond milk recipe, all you'll need are almonds, water, a blender and a cheesecloth. First, fill a glass bowl with one cup of almonds. Next, cover the almonds with water and let them stand for 24 to 48 hours in the water. The longer you let them soak in the water, the better. Dot after soaking for a day or two, drain and rinse the almonds. Then add the almonds and two cups of water in a blender. Blend the almonds and water for two minutes, so that your mixture is paste-like and looks like this. Next. Cover a medium-sized glass bowl with a cheesecloth. Your bowl should be large enough to hold the almond milk that is squeezed out. Spoon out the almond water mixture from the blender onto the cheesecloth-covered glass bowl. Gather up the ends of the cheesecloth in preparation for squeezing out the almond milk. Press out the almond milk from the almond meal through the cheesecloth. When all the milk has been pressed out of the almond meal, then give it one last squeeze and lift out the cheesecloth with what's left of the almond meal, and place it in another glass bowl, to dispose of later. And, voila! Here's your fresh, homemade almond milk. You can sweeten with what you wish and to your liking. You can use stevia, honey, coconut palm sugar or any other healthy, natural sweetener. Now, taste it. I'm sure you'll see why this is my favorite almond milk recipe.